Nigel Fansale from Proskauer. Can you talk a bit about what some of the highlights have been for you over the last 12 months? We've had a very active uh, fundraising uh, time uh, as, a, as a global group, uh, acting for managers across the asset class and across the size range. We've been super busy, um, had very much accelerated processes. Um, in London alone, we closed 14, 14 or so funds, raising about 13 or $14 billion dollars. Uh, you know, and that from January through to, to the summer. Uh, so it's been a, a very busy uh, and very exciting time. And you say you've been fundraising, I mean, at an extraordinary time. Can you talk a bit about what it was like? Yeah, I mean, obviously everything became virtual. Our clients uh, and their advisors all adjusted extremely well to that. Earlier in the year, as it became apparent that the, the pandemic was, was, was taking hold, a number of our clients with strong reputations and strong track records accelerated their fundraising processes to bring them to a successful conclusion earlier than they had anticipated. So, you know, most of the funds that we worked on in the first half of the year were pretty much done by the time uh, by the time we got to summer. And are there any practices that you've taken on due to COVID-19 that you think will remain with you as a firm going forward? You know, I think the the virtual workplace is obviously here to stay. I think it was um, inspiring to see how our clients and, and their advisors adjusted to that. And, you know, in, in some instances with a, with, a, with, a, with a number of our clients, raising their entire fund virtually. So no in-person meetings took place. It was all done uh, virtually, virtual data rooms, virtual on-site due diligence. Uh, and that was impressive. And there's been a lot of talk, hasn't there, about the liquidity needs of private equity houses and funds, be it for the portfolio companies um, needing emergency funds or you know, as a result of limited exits taking place. What have you seen in this area? I think uh, all our GPs have obviously focused on their portfolios and what they think the, the, the need will be to support those portfolios. Many of our, our clients are, are focused on, on sectors that where there's you know, huge opportunities, tech, healthcare, innovation. Uh, and so th their liquidity needs are more in relation to expansion and growth of the portfolio. Some of our clients who perhaps in the, in the retail or consumer sector have had to be a little bit more defensive. I think what we've seen is that investors have been very supportive of, of, of our, our clients uh, in, in meeting those uh, needs, whether they are defensive or opportunistic, uh, and have been open to many different ways of, of solving those from expanded recycling, increased fund finance facilities, cross fund deals, you know, these are all on the table. GPs and LPs are talking about them and seeing them as solutions. And lastly, what do you think the outlook is um, for your fund structuring practice for the next 12 months or so? I, I think there, there's been a, a clear shift just in our practice to, uh, to the, the, the secondary space. We're seeing a lot of GP-led continuation funds. Um, but, but many of our, our clients will be, be coming to the market over the next 12 months. Uh, what we've learned through this time period is that, that there's certain provisions in the LPAs that we need to test and think about. Um, but there's also a lot of innovation. And I think we will see that coming through in, in, in the way we structure the funds, but also the way we document the, what the funds can and can't, can't do uh, going forward. Nigel Fansale from Proskauer, thanks so much for talking to me.